The self-driving car tried to drop me off at a drive-thru and I'm, I'm blind. Legally speaking. Please don't honk at me. So there I am solo in a Wemo, driving through Los Angeles. And I have like an hour before my flight, but I wanted some in and out burger. I need a check-in for my flight real quick as well. I specified, or I thought I did, to drop me off at the front door. However, as it tries to veer into the parking lot, it gets confused. So it's a race against the clock. What is happening right now? I was just stuck being a blind passenger in the hands of these AI overlords for nearly 10 minutes. I'm visually just trying to understand or get context of what's happening. The self-driving car has a very clear path to the drop-off point, and it kept faking out, turning, and all these cars are just it's honking at me, and I'm like, what is happening? Parking spot, maybe, is what it's doing? These self-driving cars have a ton of sensors, cameras, and LiDAR to basically know what is happening around it. Now, I don't really have any of that context. I'm just kind of left in the dark, literally. Now, I know there's gonna be tons of quirks to work out with this new technology, and me signing up for it and going ahead and ordering a ride is just me being a guinea pig for this whole grand master plan. But if I were to make a suggestion for someone like me, as someone who graduated high school with a 1.8 GPA and didn't go to college, however, I did get invited to MIT for some kind of course experience thing. So we're currently at the Media Lab. I honestly don't know what's going on. And I am an award-winning accessibility consultant within gaming, which uses a lot of haptic feedback in a very accessible way to enable gamers who are blind or low vision. I think it'd be awesome if they worked with one of my favorite navigation apps, Haptic Nav, which is all about helping people who are blind or low vision navigate using haptic feedback. Being able to relay very specific and intentional pulses to illustrate the field of view outside of the car within the Waymo app, because that, that information, it's all there. And Haptic Nav exists like working together or something like that. But that was just a hiccup I ran into during the ride. I also had a hard time getting into my vehicle the first time around. The car eventually did get to the entrance and stopped trying to get inside the drive-thru lane. Getting honked that as a blind person alone in the car. This mostly blind dude was able to get out and, and get some in and help. But did I make my flight? But this was a small tale from the whole experience of my first two rides with self-driving cars. that saw all kinds of twists and turns. The stories of those rides are available to experience on my YouTube channel.